Hi, I am Sasi, an academic mentor at uh, Shri Shri Academy. Today we will be looking into how to do error analysis. Currently most of you will be in your revision phases and error analysis is very crucial. I have done error analysis during my uh, IIT preparation days and it really helped me a lot. Yeah. So this is an error analysis note uh, of one of the students at Shri Shri Academy. So first thing you need to do is split the column into two, like split the page into two, uh, smaller column to the right and the larger column to the left. So in the right column you write the reasons for the mistakes. So error analysis you write for all kinds of questions except the ones you got right. So even among the ones you got right, there will be some you have guessed it that you do not actually understand the question properly. So those questions and the unattended ones and the incorrect ones. So those come in the error analysis and the reasons may be varying from careless to you haven't read the concept or in this case uh, he has read the question wrong or yeah what he, what whatever is the reason you have committed that question uh, mis you have committed the question wrong so that will be the reason to the right and in the left yeah uh, as explained earlier uh, clear uh, uh, explanation of the answer how to arrive at the answer so how this will help you in the future so currently say you are attending the revision test and you have given a written a clear error analysis of all your for example say five revision tests and when you go to the grand test you can just revise the error analysis go through it again and then you will know all the mistakes you did, how you did and why you did and also you will know the answers. So by looking at, by correcting your mistakes, it will be far easier to not commit the mistakes again in the future exams which will help you score a lot better compared to like constantly again and again reading the theory and solving questions. This is this really, this is a part of uh, scoring a higher mark. Yeah, so this next thing you need to do is a summary table for error analysis. So here what we cover is just a simple table for physics, chemistry and biology for NEET and yeah, if you are doing JE you can replace biology with math. So you have a, a row for number of questions attempted correct, then you have number of unattempted and then the incorrect questions that you attempted and got wrong basically yeah. So and then we have under incorrect questions the different reasons like careless mistake, uh, maybe you have read the question wrong, you didn't have any idea about the question, you didn't read the concept well. Another one is half concept which is a really tricky thing and then overthinking. So for a simple question you think a too, you think too much and then you do, do, do it wrong. So that's uh, overthinking and if any other reasons you want to add to it. Yeah, so uh, what is the use of this is after every test you do this sheet and you can analyze yourself uh, with the number of questions in each segment. Say for example careless mistake is committed because you are not attentive in the exam. You need to be more attentive or if you have read the question wrong it is the same thing you need to pay more attention into reading. So you will know where to focus your efforts into and zero concept is good like I mean good in the sense compared to all other mistakes that means you do not know the concept and you can read it any time and you can know it. Half concept is bad so half concept means you have read it sometime ahead and you do not have a clear idea and you do not you, you can't give a right answer but still you attempt it and then you uh, attempt it wrong. So half concept is really a bad thing and do not attempt half concept questions if you do not have clarity on it. You need to have confidence on the choices. Next overthinking. When the question is simple just be happy and attend it and do not think too much and get it wrong okay. So that is a key thing to note and yeah and if any other reasons are there you can add in the comments I, comments of the video then I, I can add it to my table too. Yeah, yeah this is the basic error, error analysis summary table and yeah it actually helps you can file it or you can just maintain an excel sheet of it and yeah uh, like and before the grand test you can just look like in revision test where all did you commit more mistakes and you can look into how to avoid them yeah so where to pay like where to put more of your efforts into yeah so i have explained here how to what, what i do for error analysis it really helps so sincerely follow it and if you have any queries or suggestions regarding it please add it to the comments yeah bye thank you